What's up America? This is Kim with Geauga Farms Academy. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to show you a way to stage a tourniquet and also show you a tourniquet pouch. Before we get started, I know there are several different ways to stage a tourniquet, but this is a new way that Neil and I just learned and we really enjoy it and thought we'd share it with you guys. The most important thing is that you actually take it out and stage it. A lot of people will just throw it in the plastic inside of their bag, so we need to have it ready to go. And tourniquets are not only for other people, they could also be used for you. So you think your hands might be bloody, they might be wet, they might be muddy, and how are you gonna get that open and use it? You wanna practice with your tourniquet, but you're not gonna practice with the one that you're gonna carry every day. These are one-time use, so what we do is once we practice with it, we always write training on the inside of it and that will be our practice tourniquet. So first things first, we want to start off with it all flat and stretched out. One thing people often like to do is to take this time stamp tab and leave it covering this piece, which is, if you think about it, if you're going to have wet, like I was saying, wet, muddy, you know, who knows what bloody kind of hands, this is going to be really hard to find. Also, another important thing is everyone's always calm, cool, and collected and they think, oh, well, I could do that easily. Well, add stress to it and all of a sudden your fine motor skills aren't so great. So we want to make this easy for us to do. So the first thing we're going to do is take this and move it out of the way. I like to put it right here and then make like a tab that's easy to grab. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to run it through this hoop here and we want to set it for like our biggest limb for ourselves because we're setting it up for ourselves because hopefully we'll have two hands and we're using it for someone else but if you did need to use it on yourself you want to have it easy to use and the most important part of that this is that we have it offset so that it's easy to grab so we have some of it hanging off there now we have like two loops here so we're going to slide this buckle down to the bottom and then we're going to attach that velcro and now we can fold these pieces over to make it more flat. So it ends up looking something like this. Here comes the positive and the negative. So having it like this to us is very useful and easy to use, but the one and only drawback is that it's hard to find pouches or holsters that are going to fit um, this because it's a lot fatter this way. Uh, we did get this one from Vega Holsters, and it does work because it has these bungee cords that allow it to expand so you can have it even when it's large like that. This is the Vega Holsters tourniquet pouch. It's very heavy duty. It's super well made. Uh, the one, I, I guess the one drawback would be how big and bulky it is, which is good because it's definitely sturdy. It's going to hold up and it also can hold different sizes. Like I was showing, you can have it staged different ways. Uh, definitely, this would be good, Neil was saying, for on duty. He wishes it was black. That would be perfect. It's got an attachment for a belt or a molly. We also got some of Vega Holsters holsters that we're going to be checking out soon. So stay tuned for that. Now let's talk about why we had, went through all that trouble to have it staged that way. So if I did need to use it on myself, my hands were wet and muddy, I was under stress, it's going to be easier to use it this way. So we can take it with one hand and grab it, shake it out, put it on, grab the red tab, and we can easily get it around. We're going to do a full video on how application and use with our Patreon channel. So if you guys want to watch that, be sure to head over to Patreon. That was just one quick way that we found that really useful, especially for staging it for yourself. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a like, a share, a thumbs up. We always love to hear from you. You can find us here on YouTube. Be sure to click that bell so you get notified every time we put a video out. You can find us on uh, Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook. And of course, we put all of our premium content on Patreon. Until next time, remember, it's always better to be judged by 12 than carried by 6.